praises is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. And today you're going to learn that the world will be judged by something black. Something black is going to judge the whole world. Now this something or this someone was once white. He was white. This is a true picture of Jacob and Esau. One half white, one half black. Simply put, now we are in Matthew twenty one forty two. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures the stone the builders rejected has become the corner stone? The Lord has done this, and it's marvelous in our eyes. King James reads, Jesus said unto them, did you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. Now, in order for us to understand the scripture, we have to understand Jesus' mission. Jesus had one mission. His only mission was to glorify his father, his Abba. Now let's get the scripture where Jesus prayed to Abba. He prayed to Abba. He didn't pray to Allah because Allah has no sons. Mark 14, 36, Abba, Father. He said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but you plan be done. But your will be done. Now, this is Jesus praying. And it's a parable. Every word Jesus spoke in the Gospels was a parable. And only the right person can interpret it. And this is all going into the prophet Esau's death at the last day. The prophet Esau has to die at the last day. It's the last plague. The death of the firstborn of Pharaoh? Was it first or was it last? It was the final plague. Okay. And the cup is going into the prophet Isa having to be the cup bearer for Paul. Okay. He had to be under that lying Christianity. Okay. He was the Isa coming out. With Jacob grabbing a hold of his heel. And that was Paul claiming to be the father. And al Madi and the mother of the prophet Esau. Is foretold in Exodus 23 and 4. Would visit the earth at the last day. To not clear the guilty. Of putting gods before gods. As it is written in the Quran. Jesus was questioned. About him and his mother being God. Being worshipped as God rather. And he denied those charges. It is also written in the Quran. What if I chose to destroy Christ and his mama? You see, I come from a religion where we put Mary down, okay? 
What if I chose to destroy Christ and his mother? Who could stop me? And so I come to complete the Quran. I come to revise the Re the Bible and I have the further insight on that and that is true the prophet Isa his father and his mother will all die in the third and fourth generation the prophet Isa will die in the third generation as it is written in the Hadiths he will destroy the cross he has work to do when he returns and he will die 33 just like his age, his ministry began in the Gospels because it's all metaphors. It's, it's a parable. It started at 30 because that's going into end time events. The 30th century on the way. And then he supposedly, according to the Gospels, he died at 33. But I understand that. That's a metaphor. Is telling you he's going to die in year 33. Okay, coming up. And Al Maddie and the last witness will die last. Now let's do some pictures. Let's do some pictures. I wanted to show you scriptures on the screen. Okay. Because skip what I say. Just look at the screen. Okay, these pictures I'm going to show you is not about to lie. And it's going to agree with what I'm saying anyway. We understand that Paul prayed according to the scriptures to Abba Father. The prophet Isa, peace be upon him, he prayed to Abba Father. This is the opposite of Islam. Because in Islam, Allah has no sons. This is why al Mahdi is the father. Now, let's do some pictures. Picture number one. I want to show you this. This is a picture of the Kaaba stone. The black stone descended from the paradise and it was more white than milk. Then it was blackened by the sins of the children of Adam. Now this is in the Hades. It's true. But the shocker is this is the exact same thing about al -Mahdi. I came from heaven. I was there this whole time. White. I came down here in 1982. Hovered over the doctor and my mama. Heard pieces of the conversation. I stepped into St. Joseph's Hospital. Oh, 700 Broadway. And I always remembered it. And I would talk about it to some people growing up. It always bothered me. I had a friend rapping when I was in Christianity in 2012 by the name of Benjamin Broadway, amazingly. He went by 700, the address of the hospital. I stepped in. And he calls himself the stunner. When really I am all of the above. I'm all of those things. Okay. The Benjamins is coming my way. And I was the man according to the people. Logo on the screen in that corner. That shot down. Paul. The wolf in sheep clothing. From the tribe of Benjamin. And I'm going to do a series on that next. I'm going to prove from the Bible that the apostate Paul is the enemy of God. And I'm going to prove to you that one of the reasons why God the Father had to return to the earth was to recreate the 12 tribes of Israel is because of the gay tribe of Benjamin. Think about it. 
Paul says it's not good for a man to touch a woman. He should have said it's not good for a man to touch a man too. If you're going to say that. Then he says he wants everyone to be single. That's against the law of creation. That's the enemy of God. Okay. That. What I just said is seen in Joseph's dreams interpreted. Okay. That right there is seen in Pharaoh's dreams interpreted. And I'll give you the latter. That's the seven fat cows. That was eight by the seven lean cows. And them seven lean cows was the New Testament that destroyed the Old Testament. That's why Paul, the apostate, is called the enemy of God. He was the man that killed God. He was the main reason why God the Father had to strip himself of his deity and become a man. So, showing you this picture that you can learn from. This is true. The stone did come from heaven. And I just told you I'm the real definition of a stepdad. Get it? Get it? I stepped in here. And I got music. I got music. I got an album right now called It's Your Turn to Be Slaves. And I got a song called Last Witness. Been singing about being the last witness. Being the last two witnesses. And I have a song talking about I stepped in here. I said I stepped in my mother's womb, okay? And this is years before I even knew about an Al Matty. Now let's go to another picture. What do we have on the screen? We have amazingly another big mountain, a big rock, a big stone. Then we have a man by the name of Bilal praying on top of the Kaaba. He's on top. He's black. He's the first person. To wake up the Arabs. For prayer. He's a picture of somebody. He's a picture of someone. Who's always been. From the beginning. Al Mahdi. And that is the last two witnesses. Because they two are one. They are heirs and have always been. And Islam is Lamontes. Islam is my first religion. Before there was ever anything created. This is how I worshipped. Allah. That's why my name is also on the cover. Quran. Quan. I'm the real rich homie Quan. Look at his logo. Let's look at the logo symbol of a rich homie Quan logo. And then what we'll do is we'll compare it to a Quran, a green Quran. So here we have rich homie Quan logo. like a Quran. It looks exactly like a Quran. I don't know his faith. I never even investigated that far. Now, let's look at a green Quran. Exactly the same. Now I'm going to take this picture and we'll put them side by side. And we can see the difference. All right, here we go. Boom. This one right here is open right now, as you can see it. And then this one right here is open right now, as you can see it. And I'm going to make it bigger. Make it bigger. I'll do it like this. Yeah, look at that. I 
don't know this man's faith. You can find out. Okay? <laughs> the shocker, it could be a Christian. You never know. I don't know. I don't know. It don't matter. It don't matter. Because <laughs> look, it's exactly the same. And Allah told me that my name was on the cover of the Quran before I even found out about the rich homie Quan because I wasn't listening to his music in the past. Just way back, you know, in 2016, 15, around that dispensation, you know. But that was way back then and I had no idea of what his logo looked like. Now going back, so we established this fact that Islam is my religion. Muslims are called Muslims because they're named after the Imam. And the Imam is Al Mahdi. All these things have his name on it. All the world has my IDs. Okay, I'm the man walking around with the keys. I have the keys. Okay, I have everyone's ID because everyone has my ID and you will see just like this brother right here on the screen. <laughs> He's got my ID. His name Daquantis. My name Daquant. His name Lamar. Okay. I got the tat on my Lamar or my the Ram, the arm, Maria. All of it's there. Okay? My brother is named Lamar on my dad's side. I'm the ram. I'm the man walking around with the time of the end on my arm. Rich homie Quan had money, but rich homie Quan is not richer than me. He won't be. Okay? I am the real rich homie Quan. You see, he's not a, a very hairy man. Just like me. And see, he had braids before he passed. He had hair. Just like me. He's a picture of me. The man is even rested in heaven in September. Just like I will die and be resurrected in September. This is a prime example of a person who's walking around with my keys. Now, just think about how much Allah loves me. Real quick. If Allah created one person just to show me who I am, then he created Jay-Z just to show me who I am. Then he created Cassius Clay just to show me who I am. And he created all of you through me to show me who I am, who's significant, okay? Al Mahdi, all right? That's why when Allah revealed to me 2034 is the end on September 16, 2024, when he told me that, it was because he loved me. He said, I was concerned about you. Go back to your 2012 album. Look on the screen. Who is he saving? Is he saving my grandma? No. Is he saving no anybody else? No. Nope. He's only saving me. This is in 2012. I had an album release party. June 23rd, 2012. And on that album, the last, one of the last songs, I have a song where I speak of my son Jeremiah being born. Before we could even, even have an ultrasound, before he was even in existence, I had already prophesied on this album that I would have a son. Because he was born May 10th. Okay? He was born May 10, 2013. And on this album right here, I had already prophesied it. And this is just the day the album was released. So just think about it. I had prophesied it like two years, like a year, like a year before he was born. Okay? 
because the album was released June 23rd, 2012. JP was born May 10th. And as Allah showed me, he said, who did I save? I said, me. He said, who matters to me? I said, me. He said, you're the only one that can say he's the God of Israel. And none else. Because you're going to be my new Israel. You're going to be my last Jacob. And you're going to resurrect the 12 tribes of Israel coming from Mexico. 11 tribes is coming out of Mexico. 11. One's already out. Okay. So now we just went over this picture. As you can see, I'm the judge. You see the mallet. Allah told me 2034 was the end. Before I read this on the screen right here grace if we do the numerology on grace the numeric value on grace equals 34 according to the number of the alphabet because each letter has a number for instance a is one two is b c is three going on so if you add up all those letters Right there, the time of the end is on the arm of the Lord. Right there. Allah told me also that I was the most closest to him. It shocked me. And then I look at pictures like this where he's saving only me. And I'm grabbing his heart. I'm the black stone because what's in the middle? You see VS? Turn it around. SV. Silver. Silver or virgins, V-S. This is an exact picture of the Kaaba stone right here. You see the gray on that side? Okay. This is the end right here. He showed me this in 2012. But he had to personally tell me and myself on September the 16th, putting on my boots. 2024 i'll never forget so all these pictures all this stuff you see is just prophecy let's do some more uh prophecy now i'm gonna show you some things that muslims will never show you now we dealt with Bilal. this was the man that was on top of the kaaba Okay, now this is a black man. Let's do some research and see what race was Bilal. We all know he was black. Bilal was a black slave, okay? So he was the first people. I said people, I said my name. <laughs> I'm talking about myself. I'm, I'm glorifying myself right here and, and not even realizing it, okay? I just called Bilal people. <laughs> so here we have Bilal. This is the first man on top of the Kaaba. Everybody knows that. I showed y'all a picture of that first. Okay, let's go back to that picture. Let's get Bilal on top of the Kaaba. Here he is. All right, y'all. So let's do a little common sense. Something is going on. That they don't want to talk about. All right. This is the reason why we have a FOI in the United States. A lot of y'all don't know what I just said. In other words, we have a black version of Islam in America. Okay. Because to be honest, the black man really has the ownership of Islam, and I'm going to prove that to you. So here we have this black man on top of the Kaaba, waking them up. He's the first person who does this. 
Now, we see this huge mountain in the background, taking up most of the picture. So, we see that this man is a picture of this mountain. Now, watch this. Now, in the Sa'i al-Bakari, notice it says al, 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 because all this stuff belongs to al. It belongs to al. The prophet, peace be upon him, said, as if I am looking at this word that says Abbas. Why is it bringing up Abba? Why is this companion named after Bilal? Because this whole Hadith is revolved around one person ultimately. And it is Al-Mahdi, it is the father, it is Lamanti. Here we have Abba, that means father. Then we have Kaaba. Inside Kaaba, we have Father. It's all about the Father, the Father, the Father, the Father. Now let's finish reading this. A black person with thin legs plucking out the stones of the Kaaba one after another. Now this is my testimony. I was upstairs in my room a couple months ago, about a month and a half ago. Allah gave me instructions on where he wants me to place the Kaaba. Before I even seen this scripture. Okay? Allah is not a reader. He's not. al Mahdi is the reader. Allah is not a messenger. Allah is a God in Islam. Okay, that's the difference. That's the difference between the Bible and the Quran. The God of the Bible is a prophet. But the God of the Quran is not. He's a God. Okay, and he has no sons. So, we have a black person on top of the Kaaba. Now we have a black person taking it apart. A black man on top in the beginning. Now a black man on the bottom. At the end, taking it apart. Now what's up? Who want to talk about this? Nobody want to talk about this. Why? Because the Quran, the Bible... And the Hadiths were written in metaphors. And the skinny black man from Ethiopia, which is a metaphor for the omnipotent. Notice it says the, the hood apostle. <laughs> the omnipotent, the chief cornerstone prophet. This is all metaphor in 95 and 96 is giving you further revelation on this person being the father. This little skinny black person with thin legs, this little frail person, skinny person, skinny like David, with thin ashy black legs, is taking apart the Kaaba. And I got it all recorded on exhortation of me talking about this months ago. Okay. I've been talking about this in my house. And here it is in the Hades. I found it last because Allah guided me. He wanted to show me. So look at this picture. Okay. Black person. On the top in the beginning. Now I'm going to keep rubbing it in. Now I'm not trying to magnify race. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's just. They're trying to steal something. 
that doesn't belong to them. And I'm going to show you why race had to be magnified and why race had to come into play with the Arabians. Okay, because it's an, it's an inheritance thing. It's an heir thing. It's a royal thing. And they are the servants and we are the heirs. Now let's do another picture. All right, so here we have this father, this stone, this Matty, this Bilal, this man, now judging the world, narrated by Abin Abbas, amazingly, the father. Because look, y'all, the person who wrote the Bible is the same person who is the reader of this book. Okay, and he is the one speaking to the prophet Muhammad in the Quran. Okay, it's al Mahdi doing all these things, not Allah. Allah just tell you something, man, and you will find it later. He will tell you something and you will find it later. Okay. Narrated by Abin. Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, that the messenger of Allah, peace be upon the Arabian prophet, said about the black stone. This black stone is a person, y'all. Look, by Allah, Allah will raise it on the day of resurrection. Why would you want to have rocks floating? This rock is a person. This is the same person Jesus was just talking about in Matthew 21, 42, when he said the stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the chief cornerstone. This chief cornerstone is a black stone, is a Rockefeller. He's a person who's walking around without sin. Here, to take away sin, here to clean up the earth, here to fill it with equity like it's filled with tyranny. This is a man of justice. This is al -Mahdi. So, two eyes is a metaphor. Why? Because the last witness in al -Mahdi is one. So, the last witness which is a woman, will be resurrected along with al -Mahdi, and they will judge the world as one. Think about it. You got men and you got women on this earth. The ultimate Adam and Eve is going to judge the world. And that's not the Adam and Eve that was on the earth, honey. It's the copy that was in heaven, that never dropped the ball, that didn't eat no fruits, okay? This was the original pattern. This is the reason why we gave you an Adam and Eve, because there was an Adam and Eve already in heaven. Duh. And the two spies go into the two spies. It goes into the last two witnesses. A picture that is seen in the Twin Towers, 9-11. A picture that is seen in Bonnie and Clyde when they both died exactly, I know my numbers, exactly 100 years before 1934. The last two witnesses will die 2034. Okay? And this is how judgment is going to go down. Okay? Now all the money's coming to me. The wealth of the nations is coming to me. I already know it. You can't stop it. Now, Allah is merciful. But you know the game plan. And because he's merciful, he allows it to slow down. Okay? Because some people's feelings is about to get hurt. For real. And the plan may get slowed down. It's kind of like uh, going into overtime. Get it? Overtime? Okay? That's exactly what it is. It's like going into overtime. All right? 
and we in overtime right now. We in overtime, and judgment is going to go down with if you touch the rock in sincerity, you're going to be all right. So don't get the asking me stuff. Okay? I only know what Allah shows me. I only know what Allah tells me. If he don't show me, I'm asking questions just like anybody else. I'm just a person just like anybody else. I only know what he shows me. But what he shows me, I'm bold about it. And these two spies, two witnesses, they're going to speak in one accord. This is who Jesus was speaking about when he said they shall cleave together and they shall be one. He was telling those Pharisees about the Adam and Eve that was going to judge them for them breaking the law of Moses. Okay? There was an Adam and Eve that's always been in heaven. That's why inside of heaven you can spell the word Eve, okay? Okay, you got Adam, you got Eve. You got heaven, you got earth, and you got two witnesses left. That is the father of the prophet Isa. That is the father of the prophet Muhammad. You see, the last witness, she's a mom to her mom. She's a mom to her father. She's a mom to the prophet Muhammad. She's a mom to the prophet Isa. Because she is the mother of all the prophets. And it's the same thing with the father, al -Mahdi. He's the dad of his dad. Okay? He's, if, if my mom was alive, I'm dad to my mom. Okay? When my mama died, the last husband she married, <laughs> and she had us like stair steps because I ain't nothing but a stepdad. That man's name was Albert. Last name, Law, Law, Lawrence, Law, just like Lamonte. Lamonte means either mountain or it means lawman, the man who will revise. So looking at these pictures, we see that we're going to be judged by somebody black. Now watch this. This is my last cherry on top. This is going to be in the Sa'i Al-Bakari. Why Al? Al? Because it's my book. It's mine. It's mine. 696 narrated. Anas bin Malik. May Allah be pleased with him. The prophet said to Abu Dar, listen and obey your chief even if he is an Ethiopian with a head shaped like a raisin. A raisin. That's the reason why I have the Arab um, is jello shirt because it shows Bill Cosby with the wrinkled forehead and his head looked like a raisin. So not only do we have a black man on top of the Kaaba, we have a black man that's going to take the Kaaba apart. Then we have a black man that's going to judge the world. Then we have a black man that's going to be your ruler that's got a head shaped like a raisin. I mean, come on now, put it all together. This is a skinny black man with a funny shaped head. That's your ruler. And this is exactly why it says in Isaiah 53 of the real lamb. It says there will be no beauty that we should desire of him. Everybody's going after beauty. Men are going after beauty. Women are going after beauty. Don't let them lie to you. They going after body just like men is going after body. But the real prophet of Isaiah 53 is a prophet that don't look that good. That's not his, his strong points. Okay? Allah had to make me in a way where I can make it. And I give him praise for making me in a way that I can make it. 
because I'm going to judge the world. And I just proved that to you. So we just did some pictures. I took you back to 2012. Let's go through some more of my pictures. They always say a pictures is worth a thousand words. Let's keep going with these pictures before we shut it down. I'm not reminiscing on memory lane. I'm expecting the future, but we got to be patient. I was not wasting no dime on nobody. He's not wasting not one dime. He made everybody a picture of me because he's not wasting not one cent. Okay, that's even seen in the life of Bill Cosby, a man that sells jello, is a picture of a black man ruling over Arabs with a funny shaped head. Wow. Wow. What will make you laugh is going to make you cry. What will make you laugh is going to make you cry. Laugh now. Laugh now. Get your laugh on. Get your laugh on. You know why? Because you're going to cry later. You're going to cry later because you're going to die later. And you're going to get judged later. All praises is due to our line. Now we back on the picture screen. Now you looking at the ultimate rock. Now this picture was made in about 2011. I was shooting a video for my album, which was a double disc, and it was called Concrete Congregation. Get it? Rock. Now I'm taking a picture behind rocks. I have on a black jacket with black gloves because I'm looking like a rock. Even my head has of his stock, of my father's stock. Let me quit playing with him. Has a stocking on it. Then if you really look real close at my mouth, you can see my tongue. You can see my tongue. Now let me get the scripture and put it side by side. Because you ain't running. You is not running. I'm going to find that picture. Let's see if this is it. Yeah, this is it. All right. Let's put the hay deeth up. Oh, look at my head. Oh, that looks like a raisin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep it going. Now let's look at the other hay deeth. Oh, Skinny, black, thin legs. Uh-oh, look at my legs. Uh-oh, check. We got one more coming up. This is my one, too. I like this one. I really like this one. Matter of fact, I think it's already over here. Yep. Boom. This is the one I wanted. It was hiding. Boom. This is what I want. I want you to see me, and I want you to see this stone. Side by side. Boom. Two eyes. You see my two eyes amazingly in my Picture my little eyes is showing both of them. Then it says with a tongue, and as you can see, my tongue. I am the man that's gonna judge the world. The Muslims never knew that the same rock they point to, the same rock they kiss, was the picture of a person that was coming to this earth. Without sin, to do a, do away with sin, which is the father of the prophet Isa. Okay, now we just killed it, okay? All praises, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
all praises is due to Allah. If that was my brother delivering a message like that, I, I would be all giving Allah all the praises. Okay? Now, before we close it, we got some messages coming. We doing a What a Girl Wants, What a Girl Needs message, okay, by Al Maddie. Okay, now I'm not the type of person to sit around and bully women. I'm not the person to just sit around all day and my messages is about bashing women. I talk about a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're going to do one on that. And then we're going to do one on Paul or Saul, the enemy of God. I gave Paul a break for a while because Allah was redirecting me okay and he put me on what's most important okay but we have to still deal with Paul and so I'm gonna do one on Saul the enemy of God proving that the Old Testament Saul was nothing but a picture of of the New Testament song, who is still king. Why? Because the Christian church with the strongest military is right now still on top. Okay. But let me tell you something. I heard a note of victory because the sign of Donald Trump winning the election is going into die quant. See, DT, Donald Trump, die quant is coming to the forefront okay a picture of me was seen in the elections here we had a black person and we had a white person that's a picture of the Kaaba stone once was white and was black Harris is going into the air I'm the air of the worlds I got the end of the world on my wrist see hair wrist okay and Donald Trump is going into Al Madi Okay, the real trumpet, along with the last two witnesses and our ministry will be more successful than get it. Watch this. Make Donalds. OK, it'd be more successful than that. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.